What is going on guys? Back with my latest video. So today I just want to show you guys some of the things I picked up recently in the mail. I like to do this every so often once I have, you know, good enough thing, good enough stack to show you guys. So got a decent amount of things here. Um, just a few things that I'm buying right now, trying to buy up more as I see. Uh, but all these I got for really good prices or for free. Um, so really, really cool things I want to show you guys and uh, just go through them one by one. Uh, before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe button if you're new. And uh, let's get right to it. So, first one I have for you guys today, uh, one only I may appreciate, as well as Falcons fans may appreciate, uh, but we have this Desmond Trufant Select uh, Silver. Um, you know, I like the Selects. You know, a lot of people love to prefer the Prisms, but I think Select is on par with that. Um, definitely more rare, not as available as Prism is. Um, so this Select uh, Silver, very, very dope. Uh, you know, it's a defensive guy, so no one cares about defense for whatever reason but true was a really good player for a long time for the falcons so um you know it's later years i was not a huge fan because he kind of lost a step but definitely appreciated you know what he did while he's there so decided to pick this up only paid a few dollars for it so couldn't um couldn't pass it up don't think i'll get it graded just for a personal collection uh pretty cool one to have nonetheless up next we have my favorite player of all time we have this tops rookie vince carter so this is the regular tops Rookie, not the Chrome. Um, I do plan on setting off, <clears throat> excuse me, the rest of these cards to get graded. I don't really care where they come in as they all looked pretty good as far as like centering. Um, I don't expect a 10 on this one, probably a nine, just because it looks slightly, slightly off centered, um, but still very, very nice card. Like I said, my favorite player of all time. Um, had to track down some other of his rookies, the Topps Chrome one. And I have a few others that actually are coming in, so stay tuned for a future video for that. Um, but classic cards right there, you know, the Topps. Uh, brown border cards most people are familiar with these so very very cool vince carter rookie up next my favorite team we have bam Adebayo. this is the optic from 2018 uh pretty pretty cool card um i didn't get any of the um like parallels or anything yet uh so just got the base for now um bam's one of my favorite players on the team you know bam um you know jimmy butler a lot of people are hyped on tyler here right now but i'm definitely more of a kendrick nunn guy um, but, you know, Bam, definitely a solid player. I can see him being on the team for his whole career. Kind of how the, treat, the Heat treat their players is, you know, they're there as long as they want to stay. So, very cool. Had to pick up Bam. <clears throat> up next, one of the most undervalued rookie cards out there to me is Chris Paul. So, I'm starting to pick up a lot of these Chris Paul rookies. Um, free game for you guys if you're watching. So, here we go. We have a Topps Chrome rookie for Chris Paul. Uh, went back on the New Orleans Hornets. Um, I guess, was it Oklahoma City then? No, it was New Orleans. Okay, so yeah, this one's pretty, really cool. I'm gonna send this one to get graded. I, like I said, I don't care what it comes in as. I just wanna have these cards preserved, kept in their condition that they're currently in. Um, pretty cool card though. And uh, Chris Paul probably will go down when it's all said and done. If he wins a championship, at least uh, top three point guards of all time, and maybe even without the championship. Up next, a card I had to pick up. As a Falcons fan, I got this Kaboom. Matt Ryan from Absolute. This is from 2020. Um, very, very cool card. Uh, this may, you know, I'm recording this right after the season. This may have ended up being my, Matt Ryan's final season for the Falcons. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know, either way, he's uh, definitely earned his place as the best Falcons quarterback of all time. And uh, this Kaboom card is extremely, extremely dope. And would we'll love to have this. Love to have this one in the collection. Hopefully, it grades pretty high. And uh, nonetheless, I like it anyways. This whole Kaboom line for Absolute, very hard to pull and very, very cool. So up next, this is graded. We have this Dwight Howard. Let me uh, get this up for you guys to see a little better. We have this Dwight Howard rookie. This is Topps Pristine. Uh, this is a PSA 9. Uh, very, very cheap. <clears throat> you know, this, these uh, vet rookies, you know, Dwight Howard's a first ballot Hall of Famer. People tend to forget that, um, you know, just because of the way his career has gone recently. But he's got... Kind of resurgence, won a ring last year. Doing pretty well for the Sixers so far, at least as of the taping of this video. And uh, yeah, this is only, this is less than 10 bucks. So a, a uh, you know, a couple of rookies going right now, like, you know, Jackson Hayes, I'm thinking of centers now. Uh, and the PSA 9 is going for 100 bucks. Dwight Howard's going for 10 bucks. So I figure this is the better buy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But pretty cool card, Dwight Howard, Tops Pristine, PSA 9. Put this aside. Up next, oops, another Hall of Famer. We have Emmanuel Manu Ginobili. This is also PSA 9. This is a Topps Chrome. Very, very cool card. This is, there is a Spanish edition of this card as well. This is not the Spanish one. Um, I, I think they go for about the same amount of money. I don't think there's any 
difference in value, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, um, but pretty nice card, Manu Ginobili is definitely a Hall of Famer, and uh, had to get grab down this rookie card, and this uh, whole Topps Chrome line is really, really dope, it just, I, it's uh, nostalgic for me, because when I was collecting as heavy back in the day, that's pretty much was a standard for the stuff I was getting. So, up next, another Hall of Famer, we have Dirk Nowitzki, this is a Topps Finest, uh, PSA 9, pretty, pretty nice card. Um, Dirk, we all know, one of the best, one of the top 10 scorers of all time, one of the best players of all time. Um, I was never a Dirk fan because I'm a Heat fan, um, but the reason why I didn't like him was because he's so good. So, uh, Dirk Nowitzki, definitely a cool pickup. And uh, like I said, none of these, I don't think anything I got was expensive. I think the most expensive one might have been the Manu. That might be like 80 bucks. So, like I said, the, these uh, vet rookies are a whole lot cheaper than the... Um, current rookies going on right now so make that for what take that for what it's worth up next this is another rookie this is the vince carter this is upper deck ionics this is the bgs uh holder 9.5 um i paid like i got this on discount i, I don't think i paid but five or six bucks for it um but it's <clears throat> like a 40 50 60 dollar car something like that and uh true gem, gem mint all nine and a half subgrades very very cool card you know these chrome cars refractor cards whatever you want to call them very, very dope, and uh, a Vince Carter rookie is definitely one for me in my collection since I'm a Vince Carter fan. And last but not least, I got this card as a gift, and uh, a very, very cool card. So I'm starting to collect a little bit more baseball. Uh, I'm trying to at least. Um, so I got this 2018 Bowman Chrome Ronald Acuna. Acuna. Uh, this is the Me Mega Box uh, Refractor. Very, very cool card. I don't think these are numbered. No, they're not numbered. Um, but still pretty, pretty nice. It's a true gem mint as well. Nine, nine and a half all the way around. Nine and a half grade. So very, very nice card. Definitely a cool one for the collection. Hopefully he ends up being a Hall of Famer, a really good player. And um, yeah, pretty good overall. Really happy to have this one in the collection. So that is what I have for you guys today. You know, hopefully I get some good grades on these. I will send these off the PSA. And uh, we'll definitely do, not this one, <laughs> but I will do a... Uh, video when they come back and let you guys know how they came out as far as the grades are concerned. Definitely thinking they'll all be nines. Uh, maybe the, the Matt Ryan be a 10 just because it's newer, but the centering on this one slightly off, uh, as you guys can see from left to right. Uh, the band might be pretty good too. The centering is pretty good on it. Um, and looking for nines on the Vince Carter and Chris Paul. So we'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And let me know what you guys thought about all the graded cards as well. And what you guys are picking up. As always, make sure you hit that like button. Hit subscribe button if you're new. And I appreciate you watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.